Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. Had a tractor come in the shop. Customer says it would run for a minute, minute and a half, and then shut off. Uh, he says he had it back to uh, the John Deere dealership two times this year, and every time he came back, it would only run for a little bit and then stop. What it came down to be was a clogged vent in the fuel cap. If you can believe that one, it does happen. And what, it, what the circumstances is, it runs for a little bit. Now, this is a full tank of gas. So the air in the tank, this is what I'm getting to say, is that the air in the tank, there's not much air in there. It'll run until the air is out of the tank. The vent is there for a purpose, to let air in the tank so the fuel gets pushed to the carburetor. Even with the fuel pump, if you have a bad vent cap, or if you have a bad fuel cap, the vent clog, what it was was this little teeny hole not sure if we can see this here or not. That hole right there was clogged. And it's so easy to do because if you're wearing gloves in the yard and you know, work gloves, and you put your hand on this thing and you're tightening or, or opening and shutting it and you're using your palm of your hand, if you have dirt on your gloves, it gets right into that little hole. All you have to do, take it off. You can use a pin. Uh, we, here at the shop here, we use compressed air, but just use a pin and poke it in there. Now there is the innards here, which I wouldn't recommend taking this thing apart. Sometimes they get very hard and brittle. You can just replace the gas cap. If you see any parts of this innard coming apart, okay, this plastic piece in here coming apart, replace the gas cap because you're gonna get it inside the tank and you could create more havoc. But basically, I'm gonna blow through it right here so you can listen to it. Okay, so that's what it sounds like when it's clear. All right, I don't recommend blowing it with your mouth. It's pretty disgusting, but um, yeah, just if you just pit poke, a little um, needle through there and get the dirt out and it may the dirt will fall in there but it's not going to come through here if this is in good shape and actually I think these things are I don't, I'm not sure I haven't really taken when they get to be brittle I just replace them uh, but this was pretty straightforward and screw back on again it allows the air to flow into the tank so it goes to the carburetor and it happens a lot more than you think and all this was was a condition where it ran for five minutes and then it stopped. Then it got down to the point where it was only running for 30 seconds and then stopped. And this happens a lot. So if you're driving your tractor around a yard and let's just say you had a little bit of gas and not a lot, you can get 15, 20 minutes out of you know, the air in the tank until it draws itself you know, tight suction and there's no air in the tank and then it stops the fuel flow. So just keep that in mind. If you're riding your tractor and it stops in the middle of the yard, come back to it like half hour later and it runs great for an hour 15 minutes. It could be two different things, but first check the simple thing, which is it could be your vent is clogged on your fuel cap. Perfect thing to check first. The second thing it could be is ignition, and that would be you have to check your ignition when it shuts down and see if you have ignition when it's hot. And then if it doesn't have ignition when it's hot, then that's a, that's a different video. But this one is real easy. If the tractor shuts down, take the, you know make sure your vent in the fuel cap is clean if it if it is it should start right back up quickly if not it could be something a little more into it than just that but i just wanted to let everybody know it's a very simple issue that happens a lot and uh i hope this helps you out if you liked it please thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching